let's learn to create an emissive map. First, we're going to choose where we want our emissive, right? If I go to my layer stack and I have a layer down here and I scroll down, you'll see here are all my channels, color, metal, rough, normal, night. We need to have an emissive channel in here. And that emissive channel will work and behave just like any of the other channels. You can add smart masks or combine, um, like blend it into other channels, all that good stuff. So in order to get this, if the material does not already have it, I can go to texture set settings, come down here where it says channels plus, open this up and choose emissive. Now you'll see emissive is here. I can just to demonstrate, I can turn everything else off or I can have more than one thing on, but let's just turn on emissive. Here we have emissive color. I can choose what the color is going to be. Let's just choose this red. And if I paint on this, you'll see at the moment, it just looks like a sort of highlighter. If I rotate the light, so we're in the shaded side, you'll see that it is now glowing. Let's do something a little more obvious. I will go to the layer stack, add a fill layer. I will name it Emissive Demo. <clears throat> I'll turn everything off except for Emissive. Let's choose that bright red again. I'm going to right click and add a black mask. And then I will go to my brush settings. I'll choose a basic hard brush and where it says alpha, I will choose an alpha. Let's choose this one. <clears throat> and now if I stamp this here, you'll see it looks like a light. We can control this further by going to the shader settings right here, opening this up, and we can control this emissive intensity slider. So this slider combined with the quality settings here will control how powerful it is. <clears throat> And lastly, if I go to the display settings, scroll down and choose activate post effects. And let's make this larger, choose glare and check that. It is going to give this a glare. If I open up this glare, I can change the, um, the shape like to be a lens flare or something else. Let's choose bloom for now. <clears throat> the lower this threshold is, the more intense the glare is going to be. I can also play with this luminance and threshold values separately. So maybe I want the threshold down low, but the luminance also down low or the threshold up high and the luminance, I can play with it separately. Then I can get looks like this, which will also show up in iRay if you're choosing to render here. Let's take a look. And there it is in iRay. All right, you'd want to use this if you were trying to simulate something is glowing, such as a button or a monitor. Thanks, bye.